the important thing here to remember is that we think that our body uses energy when we jump rope, when we walk for two miles, when we clean the house and move the furniture, and we forget to give ourselves the credit and have the awareness of understanding that emotions take energy. And the more intense an emotion is, the more energy, not only the more energy it takes to have that experience, but it also takes energy to manage that experience. So if you're in a really heightened state of anger and you're really focused on something and you're holding on to something and you're carrying it with you and you're putting thought energy into this every day and sometimes all day long, I know I've heard so many times, I know I'm, I have said this and I'm sure you have probably said this, that something negative happened and you say, I didn't even sleep or I haven't thought about anything else for X amount of days. Think about that. That takes a tremendous amount of energy. All of your thoughts going into something that is a negative emotion, creating intensity, using up energy, and friends, that is exhausting. <laughs>